Hey kids, this is Sir Mark. Another lesson again in mathematics. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Our lesson for today is estimated quotient or estimating quotient. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, a farmer has 31,205 pineapples to pack equally in 48 boxes. About how many pineapple will be in each box? Okay, to solve this problem, okay, steps in problem solving. Know what is as, identify the given, plan the equation, then proceed to the solution and answer. Okay, what does the problem tells you to find? Usually, ito yung part na uh, question that will identify kung tayo ay mag uh, divide, multiply, mag add or mag subtract. Next, know what is given or identify the given. These are the variables or mga numbers na nakikita natin na later on. Ito yung gagamitin natin sa equation. So, dito sa equation naman, okay, makikita nyo kaagad that we have phrase equally here. So, ano ibig sabihin ng equally? Ibig sabihin, the farmer would wanted to divide the 31,205 equally in 48 Boxes. So, alam nyo na kaagad na divide ang ating gagamitin or division. So, what is as? How many pineapples will be in each box? The given are 31,205 pineapples and 48 boxes. So, the equation 31,205 divided by 48. So, mag -e estimate tayo. Okay, if you could still recall yung ating lesson na estimated or estimating product at saka rounding numbers. So, parang ganito din yun. So, sa estimated product, kailangan uh, i-round up natin to the greatest place value. So, ang greatest place value ng 31,205 is 3 and then 48 is 4. So, we have two groups. 0 to 4, retain or copy. Then 5 to 9, you just need to add 1. So, beside 3 is 1. So, 1 belongs to 0 to 4 groups. So, mariretain lang yung 3. And the rest of the digit that comes after becomes 0. Next, we have 48. Beside 4 is 8. So, 8 belongs to 5 to 9 group. So, we need to add 1. So, 4 becomes 5. And then, yung mga susunod na digit dito ay... 0 na. So, isa lang naman yung kalapit ng 4. So, isa lang 0 yung uh, magiging kalapit ng 50. Okay, let's proceed. So, we have equation 30,000 divided by 50. Okay, long method. So, 300 divided by 50, that is 6. 6 times 50, that's, that is 300. 300 minus 300, 0. Bring down 0. Next, divide. Next, 0. Yan, fast forward na natin. Then, we able to get a quotient 60. Okay, now, natatandaan nyo pa yung ginawa natin dati, yung shortcut method. Actually, pwede natin siyang i-apply dito. So, fast forward natin. So, we have 30,000 and then 50. So, yan yung quotient natin earlier. So, Let's do the short method. So, we have 30,000 divided by 50. Again, tingnan muna yung first, di, uh, first two digit ng ating dividend. Okay, possible ba siya na ma-divide din sa 50? Kapag hindi, take the third digit. So, tatlong digit na. Yung titingnan natin. So, we have 300. So, possible naman siya ma-divide din sa 50. Next, tingnan kung divisible siya by 10. Okay, if both sides are nakita nyo na yung dalawang consideration na yun, you can proceed to the cancellation para mas madali nyo siyang uh, masagutan. So, in this case, pwede tayong mag-remove ng zero. So, remove zero as many as possible as there be in the dividend. So, ilan ang zero natin dun sa ating divisor so si isa lang and then magka-cancel tayo ng isa pang 0 
sa isang 0. Next, proceed to the division. So, yung 3, hindi naman siya pwedeng i-divide sa 5. Take the second digit. So, 30 divided by 5, that is 6. And then, copy yung hindi natin na-cancel na digit, which is itong dalawa. Yan. So, we get the quotient 600. Next, example number 2. 563,205 divided by 235. Okay, the greatest place value is 5. Next, the greatest place value is 2. So, the digit to its right side is 6. 6 belongs to second group, which means we need to add 1. Next, yung 2, ang kalapit ng 2 ay 3. 3 belongs to second group. So, we need to copy or retain, hindi ba baguhin. So, 563,205 is 600. Next, 235,000, hindi mababago yung 2. And then, the rest of the digit that comes after becomes 0. So, actually, pwede tayong uh, mag-shortcut din dito, fast forward na natin. So, we able to get the quotient of 300. Okay, now, let's proceed to short method. So, 600,000 and then 200. So, the shortcut method. So, cancel or remove zeros in the dividend as there be in our divisor. So, pwede tayo mag-cancel. As you can see, yung 600 ay multiple ng 200 or yung buong 600,000 ay pwedeng multiple ng 200. So, pag ganun, pwede kayong mag-cancel ng 0. In this case, meron tayong dalawang 0 sa ating divisor. So, cancel uh, those uh, zeros. Also, dun sa ating kabilang side na ating dividend sa so dalawang 0 ulit. And then, proceed to division. So, yung 6 divided by 2, possible. So, yan. So, we get 3. And then, copy yung hindi natin na-cancel na digit, which is itong tatlo. So, we get the quotient of 300. Next, sample. Okay, 386,205 divided by 831. Okay. Tandaan uli yung ating dalawang group 0 to 4 and then 5 to 9 So kalapit ng 3 ay 8 So 8 belongs to second group So mag a ng isa dun sa 3 So magiging 4 siya And then all digit that comes after becomes 0 Itong 8, 6, 2, 0 and 5 So limang digit yan So limang 0 din na ilalagay natin Next we have 831 So pag in-estimate natin to that is 8 100. So, fast forward na natin. So, we get the, the quotient 500. Okay, next, let's, let's proceed to shortcut method. Earlier, we had 400,800. 400, okay, tingnan muna. Okay. Yung 400, hindi naman siya pwedeng i-divide sa ating uh, 800. Pero, tingnan nyo ito. Itong 40, pwede siyang i-divide sa 8, ba? And then, ito ay multiple ng 110, 100, and 10. So, pwede tayong mag-cancel ng 0. So, cancel or remove as many zeros in the dividend as there be in our divisor. So, in this case, meron tayong dalawang zeros. So, pwede tayong mag-cancel ng zeros. So, dalawang zeros ang tatanggalin natin until such time na uh, yung non-zero digit natin yung matira. Dun sa ating divisor. If applicable. So, tingnan natin. We get the quotient of 500. Next, divide natin yung 4. Possible ba siyang ma-divide dun sa 18? Hindi. So, takes the second digit. So, we have 40 divided by 8. Pwede. So, that is 5. And then, copy the remaining zeros na hindi natin 
na-cancel. So, we get the quotient of 500. Next, example, so 338,036 divided by 63. So, 300,000 pag in-estimate na natin and 60. Okay, remember the two groups, 0 to 4, retain or copy. Then, 5 to 9, you just need to add 1 dun sa greatest place value natin. Okay, bakit siya naging 3 lang? Kasi yung nasa kalapit din na number ay 3. So, yung 3 belongs to dito sa first group, retain or copy. So, ibig sabihin, yung 3, yung greatest place value na nasa pinakaunahan ay hindi mababago. And then, the succeeding digit or the digits that comes after become 0. Same is true with our divisor. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, fast forward na natin. So, we get the quotient of 5,000. Yeah. So, let's proceed to the shortcut method or short method. So, we have 300,000 and 660. Okay, tingnan. O, yan. Tingnan nyo. So, again, ito ay multiple ng 10. Next, yung ating uh, 30, pwede naman siyang i-divide sa 60. Kung possible na i-cancel natin yung zeros. So, pwede tayo mag-cancel. Again, remove as many zeros in the dividend as there be in our divisor. So, sa divisor natin, meron tayong isang zero. So, pwede tayo mag-cancel. So, proceed to the cancellation. So, cancel both zeros, uh, single zeros on both sides. So, yung 3, hindi naman siya pwedeng i-divide sa 6. So, take the second digit. So, 30. 30 divided by 6, that is 5. And then, copy itong tatlong zeros na hindi natin nagamit or na-cancel. So, we obtain a quotient of 5,000. Okay, let's do this exercises or math challenge. So, you can apply the short method if possible. Uh, ayan so we have 132,036 divided by 163 836,126 divided by 426 436,155 divided by 23 and then 635,329 divided by 51 and 714,113 divided by 19. I'll give you um, a minute or two to finish this math challenge. Okay, you may now start. So, number 1, 100,000 divided by 200,000. Number 2, 800,000 divided by 400. Next, 400,000 divided by 20. Next, we have 600,000 divided by 50. And the last one is 700,000 divided by 20. So, para makuha nyo yung estimated quotient. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung estimated quotient. So, for number 1, we have 500, 2,000, then 20,000, 12,000, and 35,000. I hope nakuha nyo yung uh, lahat ng tamang sagot dun sa ating 5 items na math challenge. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click 
the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga lessons sa science and math. Again, have a great day. Thank you so much.